we got the beginnings of this next weather system. Just the uh, the babies, maybe uh, four feet, something like that. It's gonna get a lot uh, gnarlier for sure over the next 24 hours, but you know, I got past the main part of the stream, downloaded a new weather forecast, and uh, I was just gonna go and hove to for a little bit and then try and run. There's all these eddies of current and uh, I don't know, looking at the new weather forecast, I sort of said, hey, I know I'll be sort of threading the needle here a little bit, um, but it's all going in the same direction as the mainstream, which is good. The eddy's not very big. I don't have to go through it as long as I can stay on point, and I should be able to. Um, but yeah, it's going to be blowing uh, upwards of 30 uh, for oh, probably 10 hours, high 20s for the rest of the time. but. We just got freaking rolled at about, oh man, I don't know. Almost completely upside down. And it still said it took out my bimini, took out the solar panels. Uh, definitely not a good situation. I'm gonna have to check back here in a bit. Holy cow, all right, that's where the post was. Luckily Mongo made it, no solar panels. Right now I'm just bilging. Dodger was lashed, but it looks like it just took up the slide. That was a big wave. Holy smokes, had to rig that up real quick so that Mongo could keep going. Didn't see any damage to Mongo, which is great. The mast is intact. Boom is good. Well, I haven't really been able to look at the boom. Kind of looks like it's bent. Uh, we'll have to check that out. But right now, top priority, I uh, just want to get all the water out of the bilge. Uh, 
dropped it, I think we're sinking. I had to unload that water bladder in there. So, more later. All right, we got a little bit of it back together. Not a whole lot yet, but got all the water bilged out. Oh, this is not like uh, all is lost. You actually have to snap into action here. <laughs> no offense to uh, my man there. But uh, yeah, so oof. Uh, I'm gonna basically find my, get my position all nailed down again. And, uh, oh, log looks disgusting. Cleaning, I'll have to wait i'm gonna try and salvage some of this food real quick oh man crazy look at that cheese up there <laughs> oh god unbelievable wow i don't know if i went all the way over i was definitely uh pretty much upside down though holy smokes oh. And I was feeling for a minute that it sounded like it was easing up out there, but it does not seem to be. Oh, but yeah, I think that was just a random, uh, I think that was just a random giant. Holy smokes. Wow. I was down in this bunk right over here. Just sort of waiting because I've been dealing with this weather since, uh, for a while and uh you know we've been getting the odd little blast but nothing nothing big and uh all all i felt was the boat just lurch over and then i got stuff piled all over me oh my gosh and i think i ended up up in there pushing all the stuff off <laughs> oh look at all this oh there is glass okay i gotta be careful all right no more filming for now i'll check back later okay holy cow uh we just jived the boat uh because it took my position real quick and uh it looks like looks like uh we should be because i've been one monitoring the the stream and everything the eddies so we're in a good spot plus we took that wave over the port side and uh, so I figure if there's heaping giants out there uh, coming from more of a northerly direction, well I'm going to go a little more south and hopefully catch it on the quarter. But uh, yeah, crazy. Oh! I'm going to have to do a lifeline there. Mongo's all on his own. Alright, it's a little wavy. It's probably a little dangerous for me to just sit up here in case another one comes. So, I'm going to go down below and uh, try and clean up all the eggs and whatever I can, make it sort of livable. It's just after like 1, 2 in the morning, something like that, or midnight. So, we'll go, but more to come. I'll check in. Well, we lost a lot of stuff for sure. That's my Lee board broken half. Holy cow. Uh... But, you know what did make it? My cans of Yoder's bacon. <laughs> uh, I may not have any eggs left. That's what most of this is, is eggs. Uh, disgusting. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where I know where I am. Got the position down. Um, Got the position down, I know where I'm headed. And uh, I still have, you know, I had to cut the AIS, so I'm gonna have to keep a bit of a watch going. Uh, I might have a spare, wow, look at that. Something hit all the way up there. Huh, holy smokes. I don't even know, it's crazy. I'm glad we didn't lose any portholes, that's for sure. All right, well, check back in. all right well we're sort of cleaned up a little bit <laughs> oh man it's uh wow it, and it's still i'm just waiting out a squall up there uh thankfully sparrow seems to be 
sailing wise doing just fine able to just keep on trucking which is great um, it's allowed me to clean up down here get it sort of organized uh, I'll have to really assess up top when it's light in a couple hours here but uh, yeah I don't know trying to uh, wrap my head around just what what happened <laughs> how much my world turned upside down literally and uh you know as far as what the heck i'm gonna do and all that obviously i'm not trying to make any decisions tonight um but probably gonna have to make for port somewhere i think uh the lack of having solar panels uh suddenly is uh, a little bit difficult to uh, work around but we'll see i turned everything off so hopefully uh there's enough juice in the batteries to get the engine started tomorrow uh, if it calms down enough and then uh, uh, I don't know it'd be nice to get that fridge if I can get, just get the engine going uh, then I can run the fridge and luckily there are three or four pieces big hunks of meat in there they were all frozen uh, so I don't know I might keep it but we lost almost all the eggs no more breakfast burritos Ah, so sad I was dreaming of those I actually was had a conversation with myself about those uh, this evening as it got dark I was like boy I can't wait until this night's over because tomorrow it's gonna calm down and we can start cooking uh, bummer man it's definitely a bummer but uh, hey like I said it could have been way worse um, I did something to my ear something hit me pretty hard uh, I'll have to look at that when it's light uh, other than that though um yeah we'll, we'll see i'm gonna continue on uh doing the updates and stuff but hopefully the next one will be when it's actually light out and uh possibly a little calmer maybe be nice i know that's useless the ocean doesn't even know i'm here but uh boy just what a colossal random thing i mean even since then and it hasn't really changed the conditions I, i'm not even gonna say that out loud but wow that must have been one unique wave for sure and uh yeah holy smokes so all right check back in when it's light all right damage report it's finally light out thank goodness and uh yeah, I mean, these seas, they're, they're kind of big, but they're not, they're not knock your boat straight over big. We're still trying to uh, just get on out of here. Oh, yeah. The sooner we can get south, the uh, sooner this wind will quit and the waves will die off a bit. So that's the plan, but yeah, basically had this. And then there's an arch, solar panels, and the gallows for the boom ripped completely out, ripped apart the cap rail. I can only assume that uh, essentially what happened was when the boat went over and then got pushed into the water, because I think we went over like 90 degrees, then another almost 90. I think we went almost upside down, but not quite. Uh, Dodger is toast, obviously. Um, the edge of my flat car. Oh man. Alright, we'll do this later. Ah. <laughs>
uh, sorted out the main so I was able to jive. It sort of seems, after looking at the weather and everything and the currents, I may have just somehow wound up like right in the middle of two different eddies. And so as those waves come together, it's been just slop all morning long just real sloppy seas and coming from two different directions and I don't know maybe that was how I got knocked down in the first place but uh, raking tracks and uh, I'm hoping to get get into the eddy that's going south get me out of uh, out of this place <laughs> as soon as I can and uh, yeah, I mean, for a while there, it got pretty sketchy. I mean, the waves like these, but multiply that by about two, and that's what I was dealing with for a while there. And uh, pretty scary stuff, especially when they're the top 10 feet are breaking in front of the wave. Uh, pretty incredible, but very scary. So. I'm glad we made it through the last few hours and uh, hopefully as we keep going, it will ease up and uh, calm down a little bit. Give me a little breathing room because <laughs> I could use it. Still got to put a rope there, man. Holy cow. That is a death trap. Other than that though, it's very pretty good. My Dodger bit the dust. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, at this point right now, after having some hours and thinking about it and stuff, I'm very, very lucky and I'm very glad that uh, I'm not sitting in a life raft right now or uh, even worse. So I'll be able to get the boat cleaned up, figure out where I'm gonna go. Hopefully I get that engine going and uh, once I do, then I can charge this thing back up and do more videos <laughs> oh my gosh what a day all right next uh we'll do another one soon